Representatives from 11 Latin American states have met in Ecuador and agreed to relax passport requirements for those fleeing Venezuela. Shortages of food and medicine have led to hunger and disease and hyperinflation has crippled the economy, pushing over 2.3 million Venezuelans to leave. Migrants with expired passports will now no longer be refused entry at their borders. Venezuela called the meeting xenophobic and boycotted it. We're convinced by the geography that it's necessary that we join efforts. It's necessary that we share the burden among ourselves. Either we come out of this crisis together, which is the most important one that the region has had, or nobody will come out unscathed from it. These Venezuelan migrants are unusual. They now want to go back home and are queuing up at the Venezuelan embassy in Peru's capital to be repatriated. The truth is we cannot really stay here and pay the rent because we can't afford it, we can't get jobs, and so we prefer to go back and fight in our country. Venezuela's president Nicolas Maduro blames, quote, propaganda for compelling people to flee the country. But now many Venezuelans will no longer have to pay expensive bribes to get a new passport. And it's likely that many of those with expired passports will vote with their feet and seek better lives elsewhere on the continent.